Hello everyone, my name is Butter Tonsley, and welcome to another wonderful episode of Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk. So, in the last video, we have been given a mission by Dronia where we have to find sweet syrup and a magical cane uh, that Madame Dronia needs for her ritual for the coming witches, because there's some... Which is coming, and if they get here and find Baba Yaga dead, and her foot probably popping out of the well like a fucking sprouting flower, she she's far down in the well. I know that. I'm just being silly. Uh, but yeah, like they're going to they're going to come after us. So I don't know what this ritual that Joan is specifically preparing, but I did as a uh, planned, which was I did a little bit of browsing to figure out where I have to go, and we still gotta, of course, go to, uh, we gotta go into Umbra, and we gotta talk to Fur Fur. We have to tell her, uh, what went down, and then we gotta come back up. So, before I do that... I am going to change someone's equipment, just in case, to the new Vorpal Sword, but not Jax, because it is not good for him, even though it has strength. Ew. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to give this to someone else. I mean, I was originally planning it to go to uh, Glass's character, but it has one less attack with this. I mean, honestly, I don't think I have a choice, because it's, it's the best thing for them. Consumes the wielder's soul to damage immortal foes. See, that's what I'm worried about is... It says it consumes the wielder's soul. I kind of question that. Because... I'm worried it's actually going to do that. And that's going to end up killing... Placid. I really don't want to kill them. At all. I love my friends. I'd rather they not get killed by a wielding a uh, sword with good stats. Yeah, I. You, you know what? Because it has uh, some stats and constitution, all that too. Is it. Can it be good for you? Because if it can be good for him. Ah, oh, not. He always defense. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll make it a test, and if it does, I'll just make a separate person, and I will work to leveling them up, and they will be a sacrificial lamb. Okay, they got the Vorpal Sword. Has only one less attack, so I'm guessing it's not that bad. And if I want to make it stronger, I could always just sacrifice some weapons, uh, to them. So, yeah, I guess that's it. So, uh, I'll give them, let's see, yeah, because they're wielding these two. Nah, I'd say let them keep the dual wield. I guess, yeah, that should be it. So, we got the thing, and now we're gonna go to the Towers of Umbra. We're gonna head to our destination, <clears throat> which apparently we have to talk with Furfur. -Fur. They're going to have <clears throat> something to, tell, to talk to us about, which should be... Okay, yeah, I, I see the path now. I, I see the very path. So that's where uh, she is. So we gotta go there. 
And apparently we can go to uh, that guy again that gave us the boost of stats. But I think it said that something bad happens. Hold on. Let me, let me take a look at this. Oh, okay. Actually, no. Like, it's not dangerous. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. It's repeatable, but it costs 300,000 silver. Yeah, so we're we're going to avoid that. I'm not going to worry about that cuz it just gives another puppet random uh 10% stats. And I like I if I had control, I would go straight forward for him and be like, "Hell yeah, I'm going to give this person stats because I already got placid boosted stats, but it doesn't allow me to control." So we're just going to say nah. I'm also thinking of uh, changing uh, up some of the group by maybe having the healer be in a group with uh, the assassin characters. I'm thinking about that. The reason why I'm thinking about that is because it would be nice to have a healer or at least a healing pact to like heal the group when we need it like th this fighting formation we have the pincer attack is good and all for uh, their health as well but it's not good for the rest of the people that could use some health too but I don't know. I honestly feel like I'm doing horrible with my uh, grouping choice because I don't have a healer pact active anymore. I don't know. Because I would like to have the assassins continue being able to damage. But sadly... I am not able to do that because of my current roster. But I'm being loyal to this roster because it's the roster that my friends wanted to play as. So after you. Yeah, like I, oh, I I love when they have that chance uh for the raptors that they can um, they can get that special attack because of one of the passives they have where they can just do infinite strikes until the enemy dies. Sometimes I wish that happened during the fly boss fight because then I would just be able to just sit pretty and the fly boss would just be horribly murdered by onslaught of a single person firing arrow upon arrow. But sadly, I wasn't given that luxury. Uh, but yeah, so... I don't know, like, I feel like maybe I need to work on my pact formation in the future to kind of be better prepared for future stuff by having a group that can actually heal the team, but I do not know. It's hard to know whether if I actually do need it, need it or not. Because for all I know, I could end up, like doing that, but then I end up not needing the healer, and the healer just constantly being focused to murder. I don't know. I have no idea. But what I do know is, we are here at our destination. I'm gonna quickly go for these chests, because money. Two silver spoons. And an annoyance in my path. Alright, <clears throat> I also got a gift of a ribbon, got some Alice's cheese bread, got the ultimate hammer again, which the last time I got that, it wasn't even in the list of hammers that I achieved, even though it showed that it went in there, like right now I can't find it, because it had the icon, but we don't get it. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know what the hell's up with that. And when I check the alls or the items, there's nothing in here about a 
ultimate hammer. Or at least not that I'm noticing. Yeah, nothing. It's not a key item. It's not a soul. I just don't get it. Like, what the... I don't know. I have no idea. This might be something I have to do, is I might end up having to, uh... I might end up having to actually start using some packs that do this and just put extra people into the other slots. I don't know. Don't know. Anywho, let's talk to uh, Madam Fifi. Oh. <clears throat> Two witches' servants stand in front of a large gate. Who are you? Where do you think you're going? A woman's voice comes from beyond the large gate. Hmm? Oh, I don't mind granting them an audience. Let them pass. Hello, Furfur. A giant woman studies your party while she eats skewers of meat. I still question that meat you're eating. <clears throat> you stand in the presence of Grand Duchess Fefe. Good. Ch choose. Okay. So you lot are magical creatures, eh? Whippers lash cracks. Oh boy, here we go again. Grand Duchess, do not talk with your mouth full. You're such a nuisance, but I don't mind. Not when you fill my immortal body with such pleasure. Uh-huh. <clears throat> you had a Joker card in your possession, illustrated with ink made from the powder of a blue stone. But the card is gone now, which means you returned Alice to his maggot form, and he is no longer immortal. <clears throat> now I control both Stern and Velt. I won't ask what sort of negotiations transpired over there. <laughs> but you do have my gratitude. Between his Senate and his Alice Knights, it's not easy to get close to him. I suppose we're finished here. Whippers Lash Cracks. You mustn't forget the reward, your highness. Unpaid labor breeds unkempt, you know. Ah, <sighs> yes, yes. But could you not whip my nipples so hard next time? Oh, that's where he's whipping. As for your reward, perhaps you should take this with you. <clears throat> it will under the seal... Oh, it will undo the seal that binds the antechamber deep beneath Sony. You obtained the serpent key. Now you can undo the seal on the gate that leads to the antechamber. Yay, we can finally progress to the next world. But that's not all. Do you want ultimate pleasure, strength, eternal youth, power, Riches beyond your wildest imagination? Or would you prefer... All of me instead? Okay, um... As much as I would love to... Indulge on whatever sort of thing you have, uh... uh planning there... I'm gonna say... I'm just gonna stay. Uh, I'm just gonna stay uh, silent. Hmm. Either you are indecisive or you have no desire to speak of. No matter. Give them their just reward. As you wish. The courtesans present you with many treasures. You receive a hundred thousand silver coins 
and you receive five tr five treasure barrels. Ooh, that's a lot of coin. You receive so many items, and they're all legendary. No way. Hmm. I'm going to my quarters to sleep. I'm certain we'll never see each other again. Do not return here unless you wish to die. Then again, that may be the best reward you could receive. Hoisting her heavy frame, the Grand Duchess trundles away. You leave the area. Okay, I obtained the Serpent Key, 100,000 Super Coins, 5 Treasure Barrels, a uh, Beastly Paradise Sword, a uh, Splendid Matador's Cape, Sensual Donum Earrings, Dream Glass Slippers, Daring Carrion Armor, High Bold High Gauntlet, Venom Carrion Veil, Dis Diseased Comet Sight, Obscene main gawk! Odorous brigadier coat. Ooh. You obtain five bottles of infatuating perfume. Okay, I got quite a bit of items. I would like to take a look at some of those. Like, how about that, uh... How about that blade? I was worried that my choice was going to end up me having to... Oh, okay, so that's a blade, too. This one has another minus one attack, but it has increase in agility. So I am, it has more increase in strength than the agility. That's what's weird is like, these are swords, but they're giving me swords that like has strength in it. And the main stat of the assassins is agility. I'm gonna give him that one. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'd say we're pretty much good now. We don't need the Vorpal Blade right now because it's uh, not something we have to worry about using. I was worried I was gonna have to use it but I am gonna now head to the antechamber it is time to go into that antechamber which involves me having to go all the way back two more floors yeah cause I'm gonna alright hold on Oh, I'm already lost. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back up six floors in order to get to where I have to go. So, I will be right back, and I will see you guys when I get to the antechamber. And here we are at the antechamber. There's a thing back there, but I want to get into here so I can finally get the things I need. Uh, you need a Furia key to open a treasure chest. Okay. Hey, I got the fruit syrup. Although it said I needed sweet syrup. But it says to report to the witch. So... You see a strangely decorated antechamber. Enter? Yes. Yay! New dungeon has been added. So now we can go to... Amadeus Necropolis. A labyrinth with separate floors above and below its ground floor. Its miasma is noticeably dense. Oh boy. Alright. Well, we got that unlocked. Wait, can't I just return from here? Yeah, face. There we go. So we have a new antechamber that can also bring us to a... A uh, separate spot of Umbra to get to places quicker. And I did a little bit of, like, digging while I was also checking out to make sure if there's anything 
that I might miss. There's some optional stuff here in Umbra. Whether I do it or not in a future video, I think will depend on how events go. If maybe I need like some more like big experience or maybe like something that they can get offer. Because I want to continue the story. Um, <clears throat> there's an exclamation point that we passed going in here, which apparently leads to an optional boss fight versus uh, Alice again. So, I feel like even though Alice is no longer immortal, it would be a very bad idea for me to fight them. Because they're probably still going to be really, really hard. Especially with how much damage they did to us before. Because they just turned back into a MAGA. That doesn't mean they lost their power. At least not that I think. <coughs> mm, sorry, I had to clear my throat. <clears> throat> um, so, yeah. like I just decided we're going to hold off on that. And sometime I'll come back and do that fight. But, for now, let us go back to the base. We're going to save... And we're going to end off the video here. I know I normally like to go immediately to the witch reports. And I have a itch right here on my ear. <clears throat> I know I uh, go immediately to the witch reports. Uh, but I'm actually all out of time for this video. It's around 35 minutes. And I've already gotten a good amount of stuff done in this video. Uh, so, in the next video... We are going to see this witch report, and no doubt we're going to delve right into that new place that we've unlocked that looks like a crypt, and it's probably going to be full of undead creatures, and I'm going to probably have nightmares. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto the channel and to help support it. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, all of you please have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye, everyone!